Yeah, I think community is key. I mean, it's at the center of all those services, like in personal finance. So um, it's probably one uh, challenge for uh, companies like yours or Mint or uh, is to make sure they engage with the community or you reach uh, probably a uh, critical mass of uh, enthusiastic or people who are happy to spend time online to share their advice. And uh, so how do you do that? How do you achieve that? Is it word of mouth? How do you manage to, how do you engage with your members and, and recruit more like enthusiastic again and active members? Well, to start, so we, we because of some of the web 2.0 functionality, some of the mobile functionality, we're geared more towards the younger crowd. So we look at our demographic as 18 to 34, 35. Mm -hmm. But we have a laser focus on college students. And you know our sweet spot is getting people before they graduate college. Uh, they're going through life transitions. There's, there's a lot going on. And, and GZO, the community, can really can help them through that. So what we've done is we call them GZO agents. We're hiring college kids to introduce GZO to the community. And how do we want to do that? Well, we want to know any of your finance clubs, your investment clubs, entrepreneurial clubs. We want to be introduced to professors teaching finance. We want to be able to survey students and find out what's important to them and some light level promotion. So it's, it's, it's been a fantastic channel. So we're able to, you know, get local on college campuses and reach people that really care about their their finances and when you do that you know, they're more than willing to share and promote with their you know with their peers so it's a it's a fantastic channel for us and you know it's an underserved market I mean that the you know the common sentiment is college kids don't care about finances mm -hmm. you know, they, they they buy beer and they drink and that you know they're that's all they care about but the reality is there's, they're graduating with four credit cards, twenty thousand dollars in student loans. They're they're being forced to manage their finances a lot early on, and we really want to help that and build a community on that. So, would you say you're better than um, Prosper, for instance, on that front, or like leveraging uh, the offline, basically, and you know, uh, contacting people and uh, agents, as you said, to spread the word on the ground and put and recruit people online. Uh, so, is it like again a differentiator? Yeah, you know, and I wouldn't say I wouldn't say better because they do a fantastic job. I, I think each product is a little unique. I think where ours is a little broader, and you know, it's more full finance. There's more touch points we need to go, and it's it's important that the professors know about it. It's important for us to tie into some clubs. So there's, it's a, you know, it's. The products are different enough that there's a different message and approach. So they've done a great job on it, and we're pretty happy with the success we've had to date. Again, the message is quite clear. I think the market is big, it's huge, so there's enough room anyway yeah. for so, a couple of key players like your company and uh, others in the U.S. at least. Um, in terms of community and the way you spread the word or the quality of the customer service, the how to engage your members, I noticed that you've got a um, like an online chat facility on your uh, web page, Mebo. We do, yeah. So we use Mebu. Mebu, yeah, sorry. As, uh, that's okay. And that's what it is. It's a, it's a chat client. Do you, so would you say that it's that's very successful? People are using it? It's or? fantastic. We have, I have answered chats at 2.15 a.m. <laughs> where people just have a random question. So anytime our computer's on, we have the chat, the chat on. And, uh, you know, our philosophy is the, the more opportunities we have to reach our c customers, mm -hmm. the easier we can make it, the more successful we're going to be. I'm interested because a, b a couple of banks are using that the ch live chat or you know online chat, but uh, it's always a matter of business case, you know, and make it to uh, to be able to justify the cost of it. So how successful it is. So by experience, I know in the UK, in the bank I used to well, work Mibu's for. Well, Mibu free. Yeah, Mibu, so, Mibu is free. So, so the, the cost is the, the cost is, is more the re cost, yeah, that's it. The resources, cost. Like it's an opportunity cost, of but course. But yeah. nothing more important than you know where we are with our product and then reaching our customers and finding out what's working and what's not. No, I think that it's a great thing to have that kind of service on your homepage. 